Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations a plus b plus c is equal to 9, a b plus b c plus c a is equal to 27 and 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c is equal to 1. Our job is to find all possible values of a, b and c. So, let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1, this equation equation 2 and this equation equation 3. First, we take the LCM of the denominators of uh, equation 3. The LCM is uh, A, B, C. When we divide this A, B, C by this A, we get uh, B times C. Plus, when we divide this A, B, C by B, we get C times A. When we divide this by this C, we get uh, A times B is equal to 1. Now, we replace this B C plus C A plus A B with this value 27. So, this will become 27 over A B C is equal to 1. Now, if we multiply both sides by A times B times C, this implies that A B C is equal to 20. Let us call this equation equation 4. Now, we recall equation 1 and 2. Equation 1 is a plus b plus c is equal to 9 and equation 2 is a b plus b c plus c a is equal to 27. Equation 1 is a plus b plus c is equal to 9. And equation 2 is a times b plus b times c plus c times a is equal to 27. Now, we suppose that let a, b and c are roots of a cubic equation. So, this a plus b plus c is the sum of roots of a cubic equation. This uh, a b plus b c plus c a is uh, sum of products of uh, roots 2 at a time. And this a b c is a product of uh, roots. Now, we can form a cubic equation from uh, these three equations uh, using Vita's formula that is x cubed minus sum of uh, roots that is a plus uh, b plus uh, c x squared plus uh, sum of products of roots uh, two at a time that is this one a b plus uh, b c plus uh, c a times x minus product of roots uh, that is a b c is equal to 0. Now, in this formula we replace this uh, a plus b plus c with this 9 and we replace this uh, a plus b plus b c plus c a with this 27 and we replace this a b c with this 27. So, this will become x cubed minus 9x squared plus 27 times x minus 27 is equal to 0. Now, because this 27, 27 is same as 3 cubed. So, we write this 27 with this x cubed. So, this equation will become x cubed minus 27 minus 9 x squared plus 27 times x is equal to 0. Next, x cubed minus this 27 can be written as a 3 cubed minus 9 times x squared plus 27 x is equal to 0. 
Now here we have difference of two cubes. So by using this algebraic identity, a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This x cubed minus 3 cubed will become x minus 3 times x squared plus 3 times x plus 3 squared or 9. And from these two terms, negative 9 x squared plus 27 times x, we can factor out negative 9 x in bracket left x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see, this expression x minus 3 is common. So, we factor out this x minus 3 and in bracket left, in bracket left, this x squared plus 3x plus 9 minus 9x. In bracket left, x squared plus 3 times x plus 9 minus 9 times x is equal to 0. Next, x minus 3 times x squared. This 3x uh, uh, minus 9x will become negative 6 times x plus this 9 is equal to 0. From here, either this expression x minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared minus 6 times x plus 9 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the first value of x is equal to 3. By solving this quadratic equation, we can find other two solutions. This quadratic equation is factorable. We write this x squared, x squared. And we split this in negative 6 times x as negative 3 times x minus 3 times x plus this 9 is equal to 0. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out x in bracket left x minus 3. And from these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 3 in bracket left x minus 3 is equal to 0. From here, this expression x minus 3 is common. So, we factor out this x minus 3 and uh, in bracket left uh, x minus 3. 3 is equal to 0. Now, from here, either this expression x minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 3 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the second value of x is equal to 3. And from this equation, we get the third value of x is equal to 3. And first, we found this value of x1, x1 is equal to 3. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that a, b, c are the roots of a cubic equation. We have supposed that a, b, c are the root of cubic equation. So, this value x1 is equal to a. So, a is equal to 3 and this value is equal to b and this value is equal to c. So, the final set of solution of a comma b comma c is equal to 3 comma 3 comma 3. This is the final answer of this problem.